Thank you very much. Um, with regard to the idea of whether or not you have a right to a health care, you have to realize what that implies. It's not an abstraction. I'm a physician. That means you have a right to come to my house and conscript me. It means you believe in slavery. It means that you're going to enslave not only me, but the janitor at my hospital, the person who cleans my office, the assistants who work in my office, the nurses. If you have a right to their services, basically once you imply a belief in a right to someone's services, do you have a right to plumbing? Do you have a right to water? Do you have a right to food? You're basically saying that you believe in slavery. You're saying you believe in taking and extracting from another person. Our founding documents were very clear about this. You have a right to pursue happiness, but there's no guarantee of physical comfort. There's no guarantee of concrete items. In order to give something concrete or someone's surface, you gotta take it from someone. So there's an implied threat of force. If I'm a physician in your community and you say you have a right to health care, do you have a right to beat down my door with the police, escort me away, and force me to take care of you? That's ultimately what the right to free health care would be. If you believe in a right to health care, you're believing in basically the use of force to conscript someone to do your bidding. Now, just because it's a noble thing to believe that we are obligated as Christians, we are obligated through the Hippocratic Oath, we have always done this. Since the beginning of modern medicine, we have always provided 100% access. I do it in exchange for privileges. I do it because I believe in the Hippocratic Oath, but my hospital also says to me, you can only operate in this hospital if you agree to see everyone coming through the emergency room. I always have, we have always treated, we have always had 100% access through our emergency room. Those were for emergencies, they're not the best place for primary care, we all agree with that, but we've always had 100% free access.